So this is your last call for the week. If you guys don't know, we usually look at 801 Eververse and Zer to see what is going to be gone this week. So if you guys like to like, comment, subscribe, these are usually supposed to be really fast because I just want to get to the point and not waste time. So first off, Berguzian Knight. I've said it before. I said it again. This is a dope shader from Season of the Forge and you should definitely pick it up. That being said, there are some shape, some pieces you should be aware about considering the off color for plate armor is going to have this really weird color right here and you see it from and it does have a texture. It's like a cracked texture and it does have like a pulsating color, which is really weird. Other than that, the other off color will be for cloth right here, the knee pads. Other than that, this shader is super dope. And also you'll notice that there's symbols that are actually moving within the art or plate. So that is also really, really cool. Just be aware again, like I said, that their off colors are really, really weird. We also have the Arctic Dreamscape. This is a really, really good shader. If you want to go for a tactical looking hunter because of the tech, not texture, but the design, this it's like a digital design, which is really, really cool. Um, and there's also some off color, which would be like this really bright bronze, I guess you would say, um, which is not bad. It's just just be aware about it. We have the War Cult Scheme, which I actually really like this shader quite a bit just because the colors are so vibrant and that's what I really love about it. That being said, there all there are really, really cool pieces to this as well. The plate armor has this deep silver, which is really cool. And that's pretty much it. Like I said, the reason I like the shader quite a bit is because of the, the really, really saturated purple and the gold as well. As for the armor, it's going to be the fallen themed armor. Uh, for me personally, I would say just pick all of it up because you might never know when you would use it, especially if you want to go for a fallen themed uh, guardian. This is going to be your best armor because this is fallen themed armor. This armor came out in a fallen themed DLC. It's called uh, House of Wolves. So yeah, it's clearly fallen themed. You should definitely pick it up if you're going for a fallen look. As for Zer, he's on Watcher's Grave on Nessus. He's currently selling the Season of the Chosen armor set. I would be the first one to tell you, I think the Season of the Chosen set is probably the one of the weakest, if not the, I shouldn't say that considering Season of the Worthy is pretty bad as well. I'm just going to say Season of the Chosen armor set is probably some of the worst armor in the game. That being said, I would still recommend it because you might never know when that one set that you're trying to make has a, has a, has a piece from these sets that would look really cool with it so i always have the mantra of it's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it so if you have the legendary shards to burn definitely pick it all up because again like i said you might never know for the weapons themselves we have wolf tone withdraw or we have wolf tone draw with shoot to loot and adagio which i definitely would ignore we have GN7 Rifle with Fully Auto Trigger System and Rampage. Ignore this one as well, considering Fully Auto is already intrinsic in the game. So this is basically just a weapon that has one perk. Uh, 7 Serp v VY7 with Fermi Planted and Dragonfly. I'm going to ignore that one as well. Explosive Personality from Season of the Risen, if I remember correctly. And I would pick this up solely because it is a red border weapon. If you want to get a wave frame solar weapon, it's also good for that. We have seven serve CQC with quick draw and trench barrel. This is a good PVE roll, but not a great one. Like I wouldn't even say it's good. If I'm being quite honest, like it's like it exists. That's the best I can say. We have thread and needle from season of the chosen. I, I would definitely ignore this one just because killing win and multi kill clip on this is definitely not good. And even if you, if we, he did give the God roll, I probably, no, I probably, I would probably like recommend that one for the sole reason that you might never know linears might get buffed but that's really it and then nine hunger with field prep and rampage i would recommend this just because nine hunger is a dope weapon and it's never bad to have this in your back pocket for the exotics we have hawk moon with moving target and dead man's tail with subsistence and then for the other stuff we have merciless which i would i would honestly if you don't have any of these just pick them up Shinobu's Val, I, I don't like script grenades, so that's why I don't really care for it. That being said, an 18, like the rolls on this is actually really good to the point where I'm thinking about getting it just to have it in my back pocket. I might pick it up later. I definitely would recommend this one just because it's such a good roll. 20 resilience is nice. 14 recovery is or 12 recovery i should say is not bad but i would definitely bump up the recovery to a plus 10 so that way i can have a 22 
So that now you have a 20, 22, 14, 12 roll on a on a PvP roll. Essentially, I would never use this in PvE. So I definitely would pick that up. And I actually did pick it up. And Crown of Tempest, which way that's way too high mobility. And I already picked up the exotic for this week, uh, which was uh this right here specifically, which still don't know if I like it or not. As for Eververse, I don't remember what Eververse is selling right now. Shaders. Amethyst Bloom. Let's check it out. So, not the biggest fan of it. It's from Season of the Hunt, if I remember correctly. That's the symbol. Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of it. Um, I think it's just the colors are very too, like, gross. Or not gross, but just boring. That being said, the off color is black, which is pretty cool. But other than that, I would ignore this one. Uh, Regal Daring. Unfortunately, I won't be making a video of this just because I'm really... Well, I probably, I probably can make it by Friday or Monday. But by that time, it's already too late. So I probably won't make the video even though I wanted to make it. It's just this week has been really busy for me. That being said, the shader is really cool. The off color is going to be red for, for this one, which is a regal red, which is why I like it a lot. And I definitely would recommend this shader. It's like one of the best ones for me. And then Sandcastle effects. The only reason I'm going to be looking at everything from now on is because I got someone tech, um, commenting that I should look at everything even though some of this shit is not worth looking at. But again, that person wants me to look at everything for some fucking reason. So let's just do that, I guess. So buried treasure. We're going to be looking at Transmex because apparently that's what people want to see. Uh, Raging Le Lepus, which is the ornament for this gun. I have to forget what this gun is called. Jade Rabbit. Um, it's literally just a shader difference um, with this right here. I'd say pick it up, but... Um, I don't know how much it is for brightness. If it's too much, then definitely ignore it. Because again, like I said, it's just a shader difference. Nothing too crazy. We have Well Traveled, which is an actual cool ship. I actually like this ship quite a bit. Not enough to pick it up, but it does look cool. We have Off My Lawn, which I really want to pick it up because of the grass effect. But I like don't like it that much to where I'm like, I'm going to pick it up. It's just like whatever's. Uh, fest fest festive Nest Shell, which looks cool i definitely wouldn't pick it up but it does look cool and then guardian glaive which glaive color updates based on guardian class so like titans will get a red one and warlocks with a yellow one i assume and then moat juggle and then for the other strike cabal shield breaker which whatever we have shocking entrance which again whatever we have beach ball effects which again <laughs> whatever I, i'm sorry if i sound like salty that i have to look at these but like i just like who the fuck care uh, i guess i guess these transmit effects is fine but like ghost projections just piss me off to like just on principle alone regal daring again i love this shader definitely get this shader we have Golden Age Wine, which you can definitely skip this shader. Very disappointing. We have Oiled Algae or Algae, which is the white version of the black version. It's interchangeable. And then Tangerine Gloss, which is uh, terrible, like just absolutely terrible. And if I see this in the wild, I'm going to try to not to make fun of you. So that is pretty much it. Let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. Uh, I definitely think the armor for for Honestly, Zer armor, I always say just rec I always recommend just picking it up because you might never know when you might need it. Um not so much for Ada, just because Ada armor comes back more regularly than the Zer armor. So let me know what you guys are gonna be picking up. I appreciate you guys. Be safe. I will see you guys later.